hello friends in previous tutorial we learned how to create these screens if you have not watched the previous tutorial please check the link in the description box below in today's tutorial we will learn how to connect our project to firebase and handle users login and registration from firebase to connect firebase you can click on tools firebase Then click on email and password authentication. So it automatically creates a project and adds your libraries. Or else you can do the other way. Go to your browser, search Firebase Console. Click here. Click on create a project. Give project name. Continue. Select Default, click Create Project, Firebase project is getting created. Now click here, click on Android icon, now copy your package name. Download Google Services.json file and copy it. Change it to Project View. Right click on App Folder and paste it into this App Folder. Copy it. Go to build.gradle of project and paste here. Then select Kotlin. Copy this line. Go to build.gradle of app and paste it. Now copy this dependency. And now click next. You can see the documentation here for any help. Click continue. Click on Authentication and click Get Started. Click on right side of email and password and click on Enable. Click Save. In Users, you will see when any user is registered. Now add Firebase Authentication Library. Now we will go to register screen to add authentication there. Declare a Firebase Auth variable. Now initialize it by calling firebase.auth.
and do not forget to add internet permission inside manifest file. So when user clicks on register button, we were checking everything and we were displaying a registration successful message. But now we will write this method Firebase sign up to register the user into Firebase. Create user with email and password. Write username and password. And on task completion, we will check if the task is successful or not. Now let's run this app. Go to register screen. Fill your email ID as username. Then some password. And rewrite your password. Click register. We can see a register successful message. Now let's verify it in Firebase. So here we can see our user got added. Now user is registered. We would like to move to next screen. So let's create a new screen. Right click on package, new, fragment, blank. Give a name, uncheck this, click finish. Now we have to attach this home fragment. So let's use this navigate frag method, which is already there in our main activity. As we can see, we already have this interface. So let's use this interface to call this method and pass your new fragment and add to backstack as true. Now let's run this app. Register any other user to test. Click on register. Now our user data will be saved in Firebase and also we have moved to new screen. Once register button is clicked, we can disable register button so that user doesn't click on it again and again.
Now if a user is already registered and just wants to log in, for that go to login fragment. And here when user clicks on login button, we will call Firebase sign in method. Before that, let's declare Firebase Auth. Let's initialize it by calling Firebase.Auth. And now sign in using email and password. And provide email and password. And hide this button if login is already in progress. Let's write the condition if the task is successful or not. If not, give the error message and show the login button. If task is successful and our email ID and password is correct according to the Firebase authentication, then we will move to home screen. So let's run the app and check again. Our email ID is this one. And enter your password. Now click on login. So we have moved to home screen. Now also make sure that if the user has already logged in, they do not have to log in again and again. So for that, let's go to our main activity. Create Firebase auth variable. Initialize it using Firebase.auth. Using Firebase Auth, let's check if the user exists or not. If the user is already existing, we will not ask the user to log in again and again. Instead, we will redirect the user to home screen. Otherwise, login screen. Let's run the app. Now you can see we were logged in so we have directly got into home screen and now go to home fragment and layout file and create a logout button
just copy this button Now in the home fragment, on clicking on logout button, we will call signout method. We are logged out. If sign out is successful, we will move back to login screen. Let's check this app again. Register one more user into your Firebase. So after sign up, we are in home screen. Check our login function now. So we came to home screen. So our login and registration using Firebase is working fine. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.